This is a toga. This is like now. a toga, yeah. <laughs> you going to a party later? Hell yeah, it's called uh, Sleep for One. Pillow Talk! Welcome to Pillow Talk Monday, the show we shoot on Sunday, but release it on Monday. What are we talking about this week? Questions that you should ask your date on a date. On a first date. On a first date. Because you gotta know if you gotta just get the fuck out of there right away. And then she might know if she needs to get the fuck out of there after she hears some of these questions. You got, like, you're on Tinder and you got 50 dates lined up. You don't have time to waste on someone that is not worth your time. This is more of a former baby dyke episode. Yeah. Because you youngins got all the time in the world. To My eggs Tumblr are girl. drying up. <laughs> it's time to go double dutching. What, is it? what does that mean? It's called, you know, going Dutch is when you split the bill on a date. Okay. But double I've Dutch. I've done that. Well, because you're pretty. Double Dutching is when lesbians pay for each other's meals. Uh. So maybe ask this one before you even get to the date because, mm -hmm. you know, then you ru ruined your nice outfit for the week. Ask them how long ago was it since their last breakup. May seem okay. like a... Very strange first date question. But you gotta know. But very important because that answer could be six months ago or it could be three weeks ago. It could be two days ago or it could be ten years ago. And all of these matter because ten years ago you're like, what's wrong with you? Right. Two days ago, what's wrong with you? Six months? Cool. If you're not on a date with a baby dyke, they've already seen the L word. So mm -hmm. great question yeah. is who's worse Jenny or Tina mm -hmm. and then there's one right answer there's only one right answer and that is they're equally as horrible because if they answer Tina or if they answer Jenny and then you're like what what qualities are good about either of those characters Zero redeeming qualities no redeeming qualities both are awful now here's a question that at the surface may seem like just a fun question to get to know your date, but secretly deep down, uh -huh. it's a deal breaker. You're gonna ask them cats or dogs. Uh -huh. Because it doesn't matter what they choose, well it matters to you what they choose. It doesn't right. matter what you are. Because if you like no, cats, if you like dogs, it matters then what they are. Because like, okay, cat You're and dog it people- more confusing It's confusing than it needs to be. But basically cat and dog people are two different types of people and they cannot be in a relationship yeah. together. You may think if you're a cat person, you can date a dog person, or vice versa. No. But if you think that, you haven't dated the cat or dog person opposite. There are three like. types of people. There are cat people, there are dog people, and then there are people that are cat and dog people and have both. Right. Take it's everything. like one of those like A, B blood types. Yeah. Right? Like if you're a cat and dog person, then you can just take anyone. Mm -hmm. This is a bad analogy <laughs> to make when you are not a biologist or a doctor. Another really invasive question to ask on a first date is um, ask your date what is one negative quality that your friends would say about you? Can you imagine if you're like, oh, they said I'm a compulsive cheater. <laughs> I've only cheated on six of my last girlfriends, so. What's something that you would say if someone asked that? What's, we'll know if Sarah's a liar or not. If, oh, you want me to be honest? Yes. Um, if someone asked me that, I would say that most of my friends would say that um, when they first met me, they thought that I didn't like them. <laughs> I thought when I first met Sarah, she was very intimidating. I'm just like a little flower. I need some time to open up. Oh. How would you answer that question? I think people, my friends would say that my negative quality is that I'm a huge complainer. Mm. Not to the point where it's cute and endearing. Right. That it's annoying. Another question to ask yep. that will ruin this date mm -hmm. is, are you friends with any of your exes? There's a study that says that um, people that are friends with their exes are narcissistic sociopaths. So are you a narcissistic sociopath? Is really what you're asking. Yeah. I'm not friends with any of my exes. When I see my ex somewhere, I run away. I physically Fact. run yeah. away. There's gotta be like an appropriate amount of time though that you need to wait to maybe be friends with your ex. And then you can only consider being friends with your ex if you were friends before you were girlfriends. That's true. If you were That's just only question. girlfriends, there's there's no need to be friends. 
There are billions of people in the world. You don't. You can find other friends. Maybe like double the time of your relationship, then you can be friends again. Because, yeah, if you're friends and then you're like, oh, we tried dating and it didn't work, so we went back to being friends. That's Acceptable. Fine. Thumbs up. for going double Dutch. Leave a comment what you guys want us to talk about on Pillow Talk Monday. All right, guys, thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Favorite queer characters in television and film. Should we just like get into it? Because like, like I get into love, the list. I love talking about all my favorite Let's characters. characters. Yes. Okay, start. Okay. Uh, In no particular order. Speak for yourself, Carol. Just obviously the best character from the L word is Bette Porter. The like don't give a shit attitude. Also the whole Carol thing of like. Just take care of you. Successful. Oh, successful, yeah. Taking care of you.